All right, just like I promised, it's time to do a 100-hour review on the LSMT573. We actually have a little bit over 100 hours on it. So let's get started on that. Stick with me. So let's talk about some good things about this tractor. All right, so the far as the power goes of this tractor, it has been awesome. You guys have seen us do quite a bit with this tractor. I have had it out in the field and I have chisel plowed with it with a seven shank chisel plow. Uh, and there's some video about that. We have put the ripper behind it and we have ripped roots with it as well as we've had that ripper behind it as a, as, and used it as a subsoil. The tractor has had no issues pulling any of that stuff. We've dropped that subsoiler into the ground pretty good. In the beginning, we didn't drop it real super deep because we didn't know what kind of root systems we were gonna run into. But when we got out to the, to the subsoiling, I dropped it full depth that I, I was gonna go, which is about 15 to 16, 18 inches. I don't even know exactly what it was. The tractor had no issues pulling that. You also have seen the tractor out here uh, doing dirt work. It has done quite a bit of dirt work and uh, with the bucket and the loader, uh, it's had no issues, none whatsoever, pushing the dirt. Uh, it, it has done a great job for that. You've also seen me use the grapple with this tractor. You've seen Jason use the grapple with this tractor. This tractor has no issues when it comes down to any of that stuff. That is all positive, good stuff. The tractor has not given us any problems in the 100 hours that we've had it. Uh, it has just gone and blown. And uh, I have planted with it, with a, with a cedar on the back, real light duty type stuff. And then I've taken it all the way over to the heavier stuff where we've put that ripper behind it and actually ripped the, this black dirt with, uh, with the flint rock in it and with mesquite roots. And we pulled through that stuff. Now, I'm not saying the tractor didn't stop here and there because it, it did, because it catches a root but it still pulled through that. That's probably asking a little more out of a 73 horsepower tractor than I probably should be asking. And I was using three shanks while we were doing our subsoiling. So we have done several things with this tractor and we have not babied it, okay? I didn't buy this tractor to set around as yard art. This tractor was bought to do farming work with, to help us on our small farm to be able to, to be able to plow land up and to push trees over and clear and, and, and dig these mesquites out of the ground and get this property much nicer than it was when we first purchased it many years ago. The tractor has done an extremely good job. I have no complaints about the hydraulic system. Uh, with there is an exception, and we'll talk about that here in a little while. The uh, the, everything has worked great. I have just no complaints whatsoever. The tractor has, has pulled its weight around here and it does a good job. I do use an older tractor for clearing some of the brush out so I don't tear up things on this tractor. I don't want to punch a hole in the cab. And, and getting under them trees, I'm not going to take this tractor up underneath those trees and, 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 and pull that brush out. So it's probably going to be asked, and I'm going to go ahead and cover it right now, there's been some comments about the R14 tires. I think people are looking at tractors and trying to decide if they want R1s, R4s, or R14s. The R14 tires, they've done everything I've asked them to do. They, they, they push through the mud pretty well. Um, they pulled well, even under, even under the uh, circumstances where I've put the ripper behind it and we've done the subsoiling with our, our three ripper blades behind it they've pulled through pretty good. They've, they've got pretty good traction. Now I do have a complaint about the Goodyear tire, only one of them. And we'll get into that maybe later, but that's not a tractor, that's not an LS issue. It is a Goodyear tire issue. And we hopefully can cover that in another video. So you remember back when we did the 50 hour service? Well, this tractor right now, even though we're talking about a 100 hour review, has actually 120 hours on it right now. So when I change the oil on this, remember this tractor has a, a, a DPF, a DOC, and it has an EGR. And, and a lot of these tractors have the EGR, it's required, federal government requires it. 
But I want to go ahead and pull the dipstick on this. It's, this is after 70 hours of use. I just want you to see the, how clean the oil has, has been able to keep. Normally, uh, I see this oil turn black pretty quickly. And that's not bad. That's not bad at all, actually. Another thing inside of the cab is the Graham Air Ride seat has been great. It's very comfortable uh, out in these fields, especially uh, when you're going across rough terrain. It allows you to sit comfortably inside of the cab. The power shuttle has been working great. Um, personally, I thought this little thing here would be annoying, but I haven't even touched it in the several hours that I've been in it. And um, it has not been a problem getting in and out either. So it doesn't stick out too far. Um, just something that I thought maybe could be a problem and uh, it hasn't been any issue at all. All right, so let's talk about the ballast of the tractor. The, this tractor has no ballast in the rear tires. It has no weights on it. But so far, I have had very little problem with the weight of this tractor. When it comes to front end loader work, it's done pretty good. Now it could benefit quite a bit still from, the, from adding ballast to this tractor. And I have no issue with adding some ballast to the tractor, but I wanna bring up that far as the weight goes and with loader work, even without ballast, it's done a pretty good job. Okay, so as far as the uh, maintenance goes on this tractor, it's been great. I don't have any issues getting it to anything with the exception of maybe the cooler's uh, radiator, uh, the condenser coil and so forth, because the loader's, you know, it's basically in the way. You do have to lift the loader up in order to get these out. But as far as the maintenance here for blowing this stuff out, that's been easy and, and uh, it's, it's, it's a good design and that has not been a problem. Are you serious? You know, we need a loader that you don't have to grease. So as far as the AC goes, everything has been working great. It cools great. We're here in Texas, so we use that quite a bit. So we definitely want our AC to be working the whole time. So after everything that we have done with this tractor, we have not had any mechanical problems, but there are some negatives that we got to get into. Let's do it. So when we're talking about the cosmetic issues, this sticker right here is starting to come off. There's some other stickers as well that are starting to come off on the other side. And it's it's they could have done a whole lot better. They could have used some paint or maybe a better sticker, but this is just coming off right here and it's kind of disappointing. So if you'll notice, this tractor is a power shuttle. But let's take a look at the other side. So now that we're on the other side, if you look here, now this tractor is a power shuttle. All right, so because it's a hundred out of review, I figured we should go ahead and fix it and make this tractor from a power shuttle to a power shuttle. Okay, so one of the other complaints that I actually have about the LS MT573 is the size of this bucket. Look, this is a 75 horsepower tractor. They could have done a, they could have put a bigger bucket on this tractor. I'm not saying it's bad. It's just, it could have been bigger. This bucket is, is 74 inches, I believe 74 inches wide, but the depth of this bucket is just not big enough for this tractor. I believe this tractor could have taken a much larger bucket than what they put on it. I've already complained a little bit about the loader to start with. The bucket is an issue that I have. It should have been bigger than what it is. Okay, so there's, one other, there's another thing here I wanna talk about. Now, this is not an issue that LS did. But it is an issue that I, I have a problem with and it kind of aggravates me a little bit. Um, when I was working out a deal with a dealer, he agreed to put a third function on here. And I want to make sure that he did to say that he did not have to do this. But he agreed to put it, put the, uh, the third function kit on here. Remember, the third function comes on the LS tractor. Uh, the, the, the valve does. But what he did, or what they did, is they basically, underneath here, they just tied these directly in and I don't have any disconnects like I do up here. They just tied them in. So now what that's caused is if I try to take the loader off, I have to remove these. I have no cap for it. So right now I can't take the loader off. I am going to have to literally buy these connectors, redo this in order to put a, in order to get my loader off. So there's another issue that I, I have, but this is not, this is a common issue on almost every tractor out there. 
I think that from the beginning, when you buy this tractor, when they put the grill guard on, which is nice to have, they should put the screen in as well. Anything when you're pushing brush or you're grappling or anything like that can get through here and get to this grill. And, and that's, that should be a, a well-known, this is a tractor. This is a piece of equipment to work with. This is not, a, you know, your car driving down the road and it's going to get a few bugs in it. This is going to have brush piling in here when you're using uh, their grapple. If you're not careful, you can easily punch or any of this. So I've got to come up with an idea of getting some type of screen in here. Now, there are companies that make screens for these, but not for the MT-573, at least none that I have found or know of. One of the other issues while we're here is I do have some paint flaking. And I don't know if that's from maybe rubbing, because I've got some rub marks here. I must have got a must have gotten a, a limb up in here, and and it rubbed it. But the paint is flaking off right there, and so that's another issue that I see. Um, again, these are not big issues; these are more cosmetic issues. But I want to bring them to the attention of you and and all of our viewers. All right, we got one thing on the back I want to talk about. On the three-point hitch, the system is great, but. On my center link, I have a little problem here. Whenever the center link is not hooked to anything, it has it has this handle right here that is supposed to set inside of here when you're traveling. Now here's the problem. If you have any extension on it, like I do right now, where you've been using it, now you've put it up, this thing will bounce and bounce and then bounce out and falls down here okay this setup where they have this ball that sits in here i've seen this on other tractors as well but i don't like it um some of the other tractors some of the other brands of tractors might use a, a looks like a, a big large piece of wire that comes around and clips around this and it clips around this and holds it in place those don't fail this one right here it, and it doesn't matter on on that other kind it doesn't matter where you have your your link i should not have to suck my link up tight in order to make this stay this starts bouncing around and she pops right out and falls to the ground in order to keep that from happening and it doesn't guarantee it is to take this all the way down to its its shortest point then hook it in here and normally it will stay all right so one of the other complaints again cosmetic problems that i have but this cosmetic problem could cause you a problem. Let me explain. So these trim pieces right here are broken. And they, they, they literally, if I want to pull this off, see that, I can take it right off. There's a rubber piece that goes around here or a, a piece that's protecting glass. But you see how loose that is? Right now, without this trim piece in there, you must have this trim piece in there. Now, there are people that have complained about their doors on many brands of tractors breaking. Now I wonder why that glass is breaking. Might be because if you lose this trim piece, this is still a bolt. And in just as my opinion, if you lose this and it starts bouncing around, steel and glass do not mix. And so you shut the door and it shatters, it might be because, might be because of this right here. And that's an opinion that I have. These are very poorly made, very poorly made. And I don't know if that's an LS issue because they use these. They're not just LS that has windows that break on their tractors. But it's my opinion that without this, you might break this class. And so now I've got to go get these trim pieces. I'm hoping that they're just paid under warranty and they'll just replace them. But they're cracking and breaking and these need to be, this needs to be addressed. So right down here on this mat, they did a really good job of designing the mat and it being real thick, but there is one problem and that's if you step right here, what can happen is this will come down and it will get stuck under here and then all of this dirt will just go right down underneath the mat. Now there are some wires that run down under here and that is why they did that, but they didn't want to crush those wires. They could have moved them or maybe put some kind of better structural support in this part of the mat because this all right here is all uninsulated and very flimsy. 
So let's talk about one other thing here. This is not a cosmetic issue. It's just an annoyance for me. There is a hydraulic whine in this tractor and has been from the beginning. Now I have listened to other MT573s that have the same identical whine. I don't know what else to call it. Um, it's really not that bad. I don't know if we can hear it or not. You cannot hear this from the outside. But it's it. It's all in the steering. You cannot hear that from the outside of this tractor. Uh, when you're outside and somebody else is working the tractor, I cannot hear that whine. It's only on the inside, so it could be just some pump noise, and that's all it is. So, probably the one of the most annoying things is this right here. So, along with that parking brake beeper is the reverse beeper. And it is very loud and again, annoying. All right, it's, this should be the last thing that we talk about on the uh, negative sides and the cosmetic sides of things. One of the issues, uh, they put these R14 tires on here and I love the R14 tires. I haven't had any issues with that. But these are some pretty big tires and they run really close to my fender. Now, I know that a lot of people might say, yeah, but they look good on the tractor. I agree, they do, they look good. But the problem is, is that if you get in any kind of mud, and especially if you're out doing some of the work that we did uh, here recently, that mud starts to build up on your tires and you'll get mud on the fender, scraping the fender. Well, that's not good. We, they need to change something here. There's also one other issue, and this is common on a lot of tractors, and I don't understand why they don't fix these issues but wiring you have some wiring up under here and it's not a lot of wiring it's usually for your tail lights but that that mud building up in this location hits these wires can easily pull one of those wires loose or break a wire i think they need to do a better job and improve that so not necessarily the tractor in itself but i do have a complaint about the owner's manual to this tractor the owner's manual about on this tractor is a little bit vague or possibly even sometimes just a little bit hard to understand what they're trying to get to. For the most part, the manual's good. But then there are sections in the manual that leave you wondering if you know what I mean. Well, that concludes the 100-hour review. As you can see, there are some good things and some bad things with this tractor. So until next time, thanks.